Hey, what's up everyone? Um, so today we will talk about another CUNY school, uh, which is known as Queensborough Community College. It is a community college for two years, and this is not the bachelor's college. This is only for uh, whoever wants to pursue his uh, associate degree. So <clears throat> Queensborough is one of the best community college the CUNY have, and this is uh, located in Queens. And this college is one of the beautiful campus and the community college I have seen. And uh, you have a uh, lots of uh, community colleges, the BMCC and Hostess Community Colleges, Kingsborough Community Colleges, Queensborough Community Colleges, and Queensborough is one of the uh, best community colleges among the uh, among the community colleges that uh, CUNY have. And the reason that Queensborough is the best is because of its nursing degree. Uh, Queensborough has very good nursing degree, and um, their computer uh, system and computer science courses are also well taken to different kind of universities and colleges. So today I'll go to, uh, uh, to the same as uh, I'll go to the website and I'll go through each and every part what they have and then what option they had uh, for us to apply there and what kind of course they are uh, they are offering and their tuition fees and all that so let's uh, look at that, the queensborough community college website uh, the only thing that at first that got my attention they have a apply button in the front so that it's very easy and it's very handy to have the apply button in the front so that the people can go and just simply apply it and they have a library and have employment and course directly so these four button actually it's really really clever whoever make the website i think it's very very clever i really like the ha they have a apply button on the front so let's go over about so, <clears throat> they have office of presidents their mission statement their directory and their faculty and staff get and then they have a contact us and the admission department and also they have a apply button right here but um I think this is more handy. And how to apply and after the apply the tuitions and fees and the Nassau County students. Nassau County students, that means that um, in New York, there's a <clears throat> place called Long Island. So there's a two county, one is Nassau County and one is Suffolk County. So one, Nassau County is really um, close to the college. So that's why they have a, um, they have any uh, rules for Nassau County. Maybe they have um, any less tuition fees for Nassau County students. So. Uh, let's find out later what about the continuous education and they have a student life even the login so let's um, go to the website and everywhere you have a COVID guide guidance and um, the center of tutoring you can with the mathematics math center and uh, how I do I pay the uh, tuition fees and distance learning tools it just happens because of covid nowadays all the tools are really really popular nowadays and um, campus campus virtual events and all that so i mean there's another beautiful website seems like city tech and um, actually this is the college this is one of my favorite building in this college and if you go visit the college at night it was so beautiful to look at it Okay, let's go over the uh, programs of study they have. Okay, so this uh, uh, yeah, I always already mentioned the Queensboro is a, a two years college. So most uh, almost every college every um courses is uh, associate. The mostly uh Queensboro is really famous uh for the nursing degree. Their nursing degree is like one of the best in the uh, among the community colleges and uh. I know a few of my friends they have a nursing degree from there and they straight straight there they got a job. They don't need uh, required any uh, bachelor's degree to get the job. They just uh, did their associate from here and then they get a job. But later they did uh, their bachelor's. But to get a job, I think uh, the this nursing associate as mean associate is uh, really really helpful. And also they have. Uh, they have accounting, and they have biology, they have a chemistry, they have a computer uh, engineering and technology, which in the STEAM major and computer information technology, also the STEAM major, and the computer information system, CIS. Uh, I'm arguing here, this is not the business academy, this should be the STEAM major, because STEAM means for science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, so definitely, computer information system is related to the technology, right? So I think I, I can argue here, this should be the STEAM Academy. Anyway, so they have a dance, they have um, educational institutions, and then they have electronic um, 
and uh, engineering science and the film and media productions and so one of the uh, things with associate uh, if you choose any community college you have to bear in mind that uh the associate college it has to be linked up with any four years college so it does it means when you finish your two years here and then you make sure that your all your courses will be transferred to the four-year college so suppose if you have a degree in queensborough college and now you go to the queen's college so in that case you're going to lose loss of your credit because the queensborough doesn't have any agreement with queen's college they have agreement with few colleges let me show you look they have a dual and joint degree program so make sure you look these programs and this is really helpful once you transfer your you, you dig it to the four years college in that case you don't you will not lose any your uh, credit so international students for you is really really important to uh, make sure that um, who, suppose you have a plan to do your bachelor's in queen's college so so you you will choose a associate degree in the college who takes the queen's college degree so this is really really important because you pay lots of money so make sure that uh, your course is well taken so suppose if you do the computer science or information system in queensborough community college this degree actually taken by john jay college of criminal justice and the nursing uh, degree actually the Hunter College will take your nursing college uh, courses and the York College. So so make sure, um, so, so far I can tell you that uh, the Queensboro is mostly related to the John Jay College of Criminal Justice and York College. And also they have one course taken by Queens College and the Hunter College. So before um, the computer science and information system was taken by New York City College of Technology, but uh, the, the two, a couple of years ago, they changed their policies. So make sure this is really really important guys uh, you, um, you don't want to lose our credits and let's see what the tuition fees are actually so the tuition fees uh well so they have a, a tuition fees for foreign students which means they are out of state tuition fees which is as similar as 320 dollars per credit as an out of state you have to pay uh 320 dollars per credit and um 12 credit per semester so that means that you have to spend uh, like around, um, I would say, uh, 6,000 or 7,000 plus uh, in every semester. So let's go to the uh, one thing I'm really surprised. They don't have any button for international students. So suppose if anyone apply from India or Bangladesh or Pakistan. So how do they know that uh, towards the international? I don't see anything. So only one option here. You have to go there and you have to. Oh, you have to write it. Uh, you have to write it down here. The international students. I already did that, and I found this. So they have uh, all information here, but I, I, I'm surprised they don't have any button for international students. So, anyways, um, so this is the international students affairs page, and um, here you can go like um, you can get the step by step instruction for obtaining your I twenty, your tax requirement, your um, uh, the different kind of forms that everyone is students need and your travel information let's go step by step process uh, so wow uh yeah these things actually i don't see any um college have that but queensborough have their uh, own video youtube video to how to fill up the forms which is really really helpful for everyone like lots of students that don't understand um english that much because um, whoever coming from the country don't speak english for them the video is really, really helpful so they also have the Chinese and Japanese language and also the instructions in uh, Spanish language as well. Here, um, you're all your I-20s. Uh, to, uh, to obtain I-20, what requirements do you need for a Queensborough College application for I-20s? When you click that, the, uh, the application for I-20s will be open. And your sponsor information are there. Uh, and so your sponsor information is, is there. If self-sponsored, um, a student must provide a bank statement. It's her name with the current available balance of at least 103.407 USD to cover the estimate cost of their expense for the duration of, of the I-20, which means it's three years. So if you are um, your self-sponsor, you have to uh, you have to show this amount of money on your bank account. So normally people show the their sponsor either their first blood either, you know, so either their parents or any 
second blood, like his uncles or aunts, whatever. So, so you make sure that you have to show this amount of money um, to uh, before you uh, obtain an I twenty. So, uh, and then the student who have current and valid I twenty in addition to document listed one below as students. So, okay, this is not for you guys. Um, and you have a different language as well. Oh, well, I'm really impressive because uh, most of the college they have really straightforward. Or oh, you need this document, you need this document. Uh, that's all. But Queensborough have their video uh, instructions and three different kind of languages. So it's really impressive. So um, so that's all. I think I don't see anything else important in this uh, website. So um, just check the tuition fees and the area of studies and they have a health service as well queensborough because i already told you the queensborough is very good for our nursing they have a, a big nursing department there and they have a like mini hospital i went there a couple of times um, to get a flu shot and I, they have very good health service there for their students also in their students should have to take title nine is a sexual as a um, sexual assault form and uh, tutoring student government and athletics and his continuing education is man, it's real life and all this. so um the website uh, as far but looking at the website i feel like uh, this uh, not that bad it's a very straightforward website you get your all document all information from the website you don't need to go anywhere anywhere else to apply in, for the queensborough community college because this is very easy college and um as far as i remember though the information is not here but i did some research and i find out that queensborough community college actually requires um uh, 5.5 as the ielts so okay guys so so that's my small review on queensborough community college I hope uh, you like it and um, I personally like the college so much and because this is the beautiful campus and I wish I can take you to do the blogging over there because right now I can't, I'm not allowed to go inside of the campus because it's, it's closed and because of COVID and um, I wish I can do that and uh, once the COVID is done I'll make sure I'll do the blogging and go to the all 17 campus and make do the blogging on there so you guys can see actually what's going on there so so far this is one of my best comedy i mean I, this is my favorite comedy colleges and um i hope you guys like it too and this is very uh, best college just starting and um and that's all from me today and i hope you like the video guys and if you like this just thumbs up and subscribe my channel and that's all. Have a good day.